Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Nick. Sorry, it's been a while. it's been about six months since I've made my last video. Um, I've run out of ideas, so I just now found an idea that I had, and I know there's not many videos of it out there, so I hope this helps you. And yeah, hope it helps you. If you have any ideas of whatsoever, please hit me up. I would I would like to continue to do videos. I just need ideas from you guys so I know what I can, I can make videos on. Because I'll, I've taught you guys how to like remove viruses and stuff. Um, well, that's my specialty. And if you need help removing a certain virus, I can make a video on that. So today I'll be talking to you about um, group policy editor. A lot of people um they um they always I see these videos on YouTube like, oh, there's going to group policy editor, but I see a lot of people that say, hey, I can't get group policy editor. Why can't I get it? And I'm here to give you that answer. Group policy editor only works in Windows XP Professional, and it only works in Vista um, Ultimate, and also Windows 7 Home, not Home, I mean, Windows 7. Professional and Windows 7 Ultimate. So, if you have any earlier versions of Windows 7, Vista, or XP, you will not be able to get this screen. And if you are wondering why I have two mouses right now, I am running in a virtual box of um, of of um, Windows XP Professional. So, let's get started. Um, to access your Group Policy Editor. You can um, go to start and run, and then type in gpedit.msc. This is a really handy tool. I love using this tool. I use this school a lot. Now, what this what group policy editor does is it disables stuff. So you can mess around with the settings. What it does is all group policy is is your registry in a more visual interface. So instead of going through, through uh, reg edit, yeah, reg edit. Um, instead of going through this and like say if you like let's see here, like it's your control panel and then making a folder that says no control panel. I've made a video on that before, you know. Instead of putting all these codes and making new like, you know, like binary values and D word and multi-string and expandable strings, you can just use a group policy editor. But if you don't have group policy, you will have to find a way to edit that in registry, which is a pain in the butt. But there's no way of getting around that. So I'll show you like a quick example of group policy. If say if you want to block, I don't know your control panel. So if someone's screwing around with it, you can go to um, make sure this is click local computer policy, and then expand administrative templates and then you see you can block all these. For a control panel, if you want to block control panel, you can click on it and then over to the right I'm gonna maximize this. Over to the right it um tells you what you can do. You can block, add, or remove programs, display, printers, and or you can just straight out prohibit access to the control panel. So if I want to do that, I'll double click it and click enable. Apply. Okay. Now I'll turn that off and I want to click start. Control panel. And it says this operation has been canceled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. And that is what group policy editor is used for, as we're restricting access to certain things on your computer. And to enable that, you just whoops, uh, you don't go there, obviously. To in, to fix that, you go to start run and then gpedit.msc. Go to wherever you want. And then maximize. 
and then see how it, has, it says prohibit you can do configure not configured apply okay I want to minimize that this time and now I can oh, where the control panel go it disappeared on me I might have to restart is it there? Well, you can change your stuff now. Um, I don't know where it went. It should not do that. I kind of find that a bit creeposaurus, but you can still edit your stuff. You know, this isn't control panel. Maybe I have to X this out. I don't know. That's weird. Don't worry about that. I don't know why it did that. You can access it now. Um, another thing you can do in the group policy editor is um, oh, where is it? You can disable your right click too. That's what schoolies use now. Is this is what the schools use as your group policy editor, and this, and along with another program, is called Deep Freeze, and a bunch, a bunch, bunch more stuff. And gosh, where is it? Things are need system. Yes, system. Oh. I don't know where it is, but you can do so much with this. This is just a brief example. Um, you can disable your network connections, see, prohibit all this stuff. If you don't like people, you can prohibit downloads. If you don't like people downloading stuff, you can prohibit installations and all that. I hope this video helps you. Um, please rate five star. Oh, no, never mind. They can't rate it. Please thumbs up the video if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't like it. Sorry, kind of went on a, a rant of talking. Um, who just haven't been on in a while. Um, the program I am using, the spiritual box in, is called um, uh, Sun Virtual Box. It can be found free at www.sunvirtualbox.org. That is this site right here. And this is ready to download it, and I will have this in the description. Hope this video helps you. Um, I hope to be making future videos. Has this been a long time? Any ideas? Hit me up. Uh, don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe. Thanks, and have an awesome day.